Having a beautiful community fish tank is one of the best parts about this hobby. You get to keep all of your favorite fish together and watch them interact. But what if a contagious or viral illness is introduced into the fish tank? Since the fish all swim together and share the same space, parasites and infections can spread very quickly. Luckily, we can set up a two-in-one safety net to prevent this. A quarantine tank can be used to quickly relocate sick fish for treatment before other fish are infected, and also should be used for new fish for a few weeks before adding them to your community tanks, because we don't know what kind of possible illness new fish from other people's tanks might have. So let's get into how to set one up. First, find a surface that can support the weight of your tank. Since I'm using a 40 gallon tank for this quarantine setup, I'm gonna set up a sturdy steel stand that can support the required weight. Hey, Jeff from Aquion, thanks, you did a great job. Place your tank on top of the stand and use a gauge like a spirit level to make sure the tank sits level on top of the stand. Before you fill up your tank with water and make it really heavy, make sure you move it to a location with close access to an outlet to power all of your equipment. Now that you have the tank where you want it, go ahead and start filling it up. Make sure to use some kind of dechlorinator. While the tank is filling up, let me show you how I set up the life support system for this tank. First, I'm going to be using an air pump and sponge filter to get the job done more efficiently. I like the Aquarium Co-op battery air pump because it can run two sponge filters at the same time while outputting a decent flow. And in case the power goes out, the pumps will keep running for about 6 hours if I'm not home. For the sponge filter, I'm going to go with the large size from Aquarium Co-op. This filter has been running in the back of another one of my tanks for about a year, so it's seeded with tons of beneficial bacteria. Next, I add a thermometer to make sure my water's at a good temperature for my fish. I like this glass thermometer because it makes it really easy to tell the temperature at a quick glance. I then add a heater that's rated for the size of the tank. I always have a few extra heaters on hand so I just use one of those. Finally, to secure the top of the tank from any accidental fish jumps, I add a lid. Since this tank didn't come with a lid, I made a simple one out of polycarbonate panels that I found at Home Depot. I cut small notches for any cords or airlines, so that has a nice snug fit. For an added bonus, I like to add some kind of structure for the fish to feel a little bit more safe and secure. This decoration has some larger holes that small fish might be able to get into, and since I'm going to be adding some small fish to this tank, I stuff the holes with a little bit of polyfill. That'll keep any of the small fish from getting stuck inside the decoration. Now that the tank is on a stable stand filled with heated, dechlorinated water, it's time to add my fish. While I was setting up the quarantine tank, I had the fish floating in another tank that is set to be the same temperature. After letting the fish temperature acclimate for about 30 minutes, I opened the bags and let them gently swim out into the tank on their own. Since these are new fish that might have a foreign illness or parasite, I'm going to treat them with a broad spectrum medication that treats for bacterial, fungal, and parasitic diseases. I like to leave the quarantine tank bare bottom without any substrate so it's easy to monitor the fish and see if they're eating and producing waste. And also it makes it easier for siphoning out any waste or parasites like ick that may have fallen off of the fish. These new fish are going to live in the quarantine tank for a few weeks before I add them to the main tank. I wish you the best luck with your quarantine setup and I wish you a happy healthy fish tank. Click that like button for me and check out the rest of my channel for more fish keeping videos. Thanks guys, see you in the next one.